go back to it later. Look at this. This is the co- one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So at the bottom here, every single one of those lines is a biblical verse. Okay? Now, the length of the line is proportionate to how many times that verse is referred to in some way by some other verse. So you say, well, this is the first hyperlinked book. Right? I'm, I'm dead serious about that. It, like, that you can't click and get the hyperlinks, obviously, but it's a thoroughly hyperlinked book. And it's because, well, the people who worked on these stories that are hypothetically at the end, right, which is the end can't affect the beginning. That's, that's the rule of time, right? What happens now can't affect what happened to you 10 years ago, even though it actually can, but whatever. <laughs> well, you reinterpret things, right, and then they're not the same, but whatever. We won't get into that. But technically speaking, the present cannot affect the past, but if you were looking at a piece of literature, that's not right, because when you write the end, you know what was at the beginning, and when you write the beginning or edit it, you know what's at the end. And so you can weave the whole thing together. And there's 65,000 cross-references, and that's what this map shows. And so that's a great visual representation of the book. And then you can see, well, why is it deep? Why is the book deep? Well, just imagine how many pathways you could take through that, right? I mean, you just journey through you just journey through that forever. You'd never, ever get to the end of it. There's permutations and combinations.